Welcome little scientists, it's Miss Gisa, and today we're going to read another story about spiders called Spiders by Gail Gibbons. Spiders may look scary, but most of them don't hurt people. There are about 30,000 different kinds of spiders. Spiders come in many shapes and sizes. Some are so tiny that they are no bigger than a speck of dust. Others can be as big as a dinner plate. Most spiders are brown, gray, or black. Some have bright colors. The first spiders lived about 300 million years ago, even before dinosaurs roamed the earth. Spiders belong to a group of animals called arachnids. The word arachnid comes from an old Greek legend. Once there was a woman named Arachne who was angry when she lost a weaving contest against the goddess Athena. When Arachne died, Athena turned Arachne's body into a spider so she could weave forever. A spider's body. A spider's body has two parts, the abdomen and the cephalothorax. Cephalothorax means head, chest. Some spiders spin silk with tiny organs called spinnerets. A spider has eight legs. Most spiders have eight eyes. A spider has pedipalps to feel and to squeeze body juices from its prey. Spiders are not insects. An insect's body. Most insects have two big eyes, often with three smaller eyes between them. Many insects have wings. They have three parts to their body, the head, thorax, and abdomen. An insect has six legs. An insect antenna is for touch and smell. A spider's body are different from insects in many ways. When a male spider finds a mate, he must be careful. If the female spider is hungry, she might eat him. Some male spiders do a dance or bring an insect to attract the female. A mother spider lays her eggs and encloses them in a strong silk egg sac. Some spiders lay a few eggs, others lay thousands. After a number of weeks, the baby spiders creep out of the silk sac. Spider babies are called spiderlings. Most spider mothers don't stay with their babies. Some spiderlings care for themselves as soon as they are born. They run up to the highest places they can find. The spiderlings spin out long streamers of silk. A breeze lifts them and carries them to their new homes. This way of travel is called ballooning. As a spiderling grows, its hard outer skin, called an exoskeleton, becomes tight. The skin cracks open along its back. The spider sheds it by climbing out. This is called molting. Most spiders molt five to 10 times. Some spiders are web weavers. They spin webs to catch their food. There are spiders that weave tangled webs. The spider spins a tangled mass of silk. When an insect is trapped, the spider runs out to get it. Other spiders weave sheet webs. The spider hangs upside down beneath the web. When an insect hits the sheet web, the spider quickly pulls it through the webbing. Spiders create funnel webs too. The top is big and the bottom is small. The web is held in place by lines of silk. The spider sits at the bottom and waits for an insect to fly or walk in. Some spiders spin triangle webs. A triangle web is fastened at three points. The web's bands of dry and sticky silk trap insects. The orb weaving spider spins a pattern of many circles. First, the spider spins a few lines of silk to hold up the web. 
Then it adds lines of silk that look like the spokes of a wheel. Around and around the spider goes, adding a sticky coil to the spokes. Next, the spider waits for its meal in the center of the web, or it waits nearby. When the insect lands on the web, the web shakes. Instantly, the spider pounces. It wraps the insect in silk. Then it stuns the insect with its poisonous fangs. If the spider is hungry, it eats the insect right away. If it is not, it waits until later. The most beautiful spider web of all is the orb web. Not all spiders use webs for catching food. Some hide in burrows or beneath rocks and stones. When the spider sees an insect, it quickly runs out and grabs it, like the wolf spider. One unusual kind of spider lives underwater. It weaves a bell-shaped web, then it fills the web with tiny bubbles. The spider stays there breathing the air from the bubbles and waits to catch water insects. Another type of spider digs a tunnel and lines it with silk. To protect itself, it makes a hinged trap door from dirt and silk to cover the tunnel. When the spider is hungry, it opens the door a bit. If an insect comes close, the spider scurries out to catch it. That's called a trap door spider. Some spiders hide on or inside flowers. One spider even changes colors from yellow to white to match the color of the flower. When an insect lands, the spider snatches it. Some spiders are dangerous. One of them is the black widow spider. The black widow spider bites only when its web is disturbed or it is in danger. The poison of a black widow spider can kill a person. The biggest spider of all is the tarantula. When its legs are stretched out, it can measure about 10 inches wide. It is very hairy. Tarantulas that live in the United States are not poisonous to people. Spiders have enemies. Some insects, like spider wasps, hunt and eat spiders. Toads, frogs, and some birds like to eat spiders, too. Most spiders live for about one year. Some live much longer. Female tarantulas sometimes live to be 25 years old. Many people don't like spiders because they are afraid of them. But spiders help us. They play an important role by eating many insects that are harmful to crops and people. Spiders can be interesting to watch. Scientists are still discovering new kinds of spiders and learning more about them. Will you draw your favorite spider for me and maybe tell me one or two things that you've learned about that spider? You can post it on our Instagram site at Butterfly Garden Preschool. Thanks again for joining us. Remember to like and subscribe to support our channel.